Hey, hey. Dell Mac. Hey, hey. You were born in 1937. Yeah. And so you would have I been. Was, I was in the army from uh, 17 to I got uh, three years. Yeah, you got out yeah, in 1957. I, yeah, September. 25th. So you went in about 54 when Elvis joined Sun Records, and but you were with Sun Records back then. No, no, no. I knew him. Okay, you knew Elvis. No, no. Oh. No, I just knew Sam Phillips. Sam Phillips, yeah. Yeah. He's the first one I met. Because he'd come and listen to me, you know. Yeah. When you first went down to Sun Records in Memphis, and it was called Bluff City then? Well, I started hanging out there in 1957, really. Smokey Joe was uh, Elvis's piano teacher? Yeah, yeah, he used to go out and show Elvis, uh, Elvis would want to know something about some gospel song always. Uh-huh. And anyway, he'd always open. run Smokey Joe down. Uh-huh. Wow. And he would go out and whatever it was, you know, I was invited out too. I never did go, I should have, I wished I had it. <laughs> now, you know, now that is. Okay, Gold Band Records, you cut some singles for them, and at the time they didn't do very good, but later on, why is it that every one of your songs became number one hits? I never did. I mean, <laughs> did, did you choose those songs? Who chose those songs? Well, it's a kind of a short story and a long story. People just give you words and say, make up a song and you do it. You know? Yeah. But you pioneered these songs, and you never got the credit for it. I was getting money to eat on. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Thank you. I'm... But I've, I've um, listened to your songs on YouTube from Gold Band Records, and they're really very, very good. And the company still exists. They're still selling songs. <coughs> Excuse me. And... Your songs are still popular from way back then. Now, mind you, back this is in the pioneering days. There were no contracts back then, from what I, I understand. So, what you did was what you got paid. That's right. <laughs> you got paid it, for it. So, how does that differ from today, do you think? Well, um, I've been out of it so long today, I wouldn't know how to go at it, to be honest with you. Computer. <laughs> That's the only way I'd say. Only thing I could say about it. Which way would you go at it today? <laughs> yeah. A kid with a thousand dollars of uh, a laptop, microphones, um, things of that nature, a guitar, or drums could go in the be back it. room and cut a hit record nowadays. Exactly from a trailer park. It's the sound, you know. One of your greatest songs that that still remains in my mind was a coughing song. Do you remember that? It was the cigarettes song. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, it almost doesn't exist now, but do you think that with enough support that they might be able to unearth this this song? It was, um, what was it, Cigarettes May Be Hazardous to Your Health, released in 1965 or so? Yeah. It was, It. I think it went straight That's to your a, top. Uh, uh, that's the first song against the tobacco company. It's <laughs> the first commercial against them. <laughs> yeah, it might have been 1967. I'll have to look. And now you're yeah. still uh, friends with some of the Presley family. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Travis Womack's a friend of mine. Great guitar player. Worked session work forever. And uh, Alvin Smith, another one of his cousins, is a great guitar player and singer. Uh, he worked with half of the world. He worked with Charlie Feathers most of his life, really. If but, there's one wish that you had for the Ozarks, to leave behind something for musicians and singers, what would that be? With well, there needs to be Somebody to work with the talent that's here. They're growing up. They could be your kids. They could be anybody's kids up here in school. 
-hmm. And there needs to be, people needs to work with them, not, he plays a guitar, put him in jail. If it says it's raining, you do a raining lick. Dingy, 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 dingy. If the snow is blowing, figure out something. Paint the picture. That's what the big boys always told me. I don't know what to play. Man, paint the picture. You ever had him say that to you, Danny? Bird song. <laughs> Paint the picture. And them guys can play anything, you know, any kind of music. <laughs>